To release adductor magnus easily in a chair, you can just add this as a little break in throughout your day, especially if you sit at a desk and you have a firm chair. You don't want a really soft chair. It's not going to really work on a couch. You're going to have a firmer chair like a dining chair. And then I like to use the larger myofoam ball for this. This ball is the perfect thing for this. So adductor magnus, you want to get the ball slightly behind. You're going to palpate. You're going to feel this thick tendon right here. That's gracilis tendon. You're going to get the ball right behind that. Now to be able to really get the right position, you're going to have to drop your leg down like that. So you'll see, take the ball. Here's that big tendon. I'm going to get that big ball right behind it. And then so that I'm actually dropping the tissue on, I'm going to turn. I'm going to drop that knee down. See that? And then I can um, wiggle and sink in. Oh, adductor magnus, the more you sit up over it, the deeper the pressure. The more you lean away from it, the less pressure. So you can kind of play with that. And then from that spot, you just kind of start moving down the thigh. Keep dropping that thigh in, little shake, little shimmy, <laughs> little wiggle on that ball to activate it into adductor magnus. Notice I keep that knee dropped. If my knee is straight forward, I'm not getting anything right now. Now I'm just kind of on the inside of the skin, a little bit of fatty layer, but I'm not getting muscle. I got to drop that in and kind of sit up over it to get the pressure down into adductor magnus. So we're going to stay in up close. Remember those upper points are right by the sitting bone right next to where the hamstrings attach. So you get that ball in there, move it around a little, check it, but see that you're behind that thick tendon of gracilis at the front. Ah, oh, so good. And then you can wave that knee a little bit. So as you drop the knee in more, it pushes in more and then backs off, push in more, back off. Play with that little wave of the knee. And we're going to take one more section down a little bit. Great. And then we're going to do the other side. So starting back in center, sit up nice and tall. Just kind of feel the difference. You might feel this area even more now. It might be kind of awake. So we're going to find that inner groin tendon, that thick tendon and the inner groin, that's gracilis. You go right behind it with that bigger ball. And then turning and sitting up over that ball, drop that outer knee, drop this, that knee on the side that you're working on. And then see if you can get the ball right up at the sitting bone. So you're up high right, right below, right near the bottom of the pelvis. So really high up in the inner thigh, but not straight, straight up and down, right? That's hamstrings. That's another video. <laughs> now you're going to work in this adductor magnus. Dropping the pressure in there, sitting up nice and tall, and then moving down. When you find those tender, tender spots, you know that's where your body holds tension. If there's no tenderness there, you don't have to hang out there. You don't have to waste your time hanging out there. So now you go down a little bit, play with dropping that knee down a little bit more, maybe a little wave. But the more you push that knee down, the more you drive the tissue into the ball itself. The more you sit up on the ball, the more pressure that is, the more you lean away the less pressure. So finding just that right balance for yourself. That's, uh, adductor magnus holds two trigger points real high up by that sitting bone. And then as you start making your way down along that inner thigh, kind of between the, the medial thigh, the inner thigh, and the hamstrings that line that adductor magnus goes along that trajectory, its little nest there between the hamstrings and deep to the hamstrings. Lots of folks come in with 
They think it's a hamstring tendon issue, but it's actually an adductor magnus problem. Ah, oh, so good. Take a couple of breaths. All right. Now that's it. That's our quick fix for adductor magnus in a chair, but we always want to finish with a little bit of stretching. So what you want to do is get up, get that your chair, get behind your chair, step your feet nice and wide, and do a little side to side bending one knee and then the other. I'm going to show it from a different angle, nice and wide. You could put your elbows on your chair if that feels best to you. And you're just kind of going side to side, stretching through those adductors now that they've been freed be much easier to do that practice. Great. And that's releasing adductor magnus on a chair. <laughs>